Hi guys, I tried to do this as a live, but it didn't work. And so I'm just gonna record it and post it afterwards. And it's an active transmission that I'm working with, which literally just came through as I was journaling. And I felt compelled to share it because I feel it's not just for me and it didn't sound personal for just me. And so I'm actually going to read from my journal because that's how it came through. And again, take what feels alive for you and if it doesn't, just turn it off because I feel everyone's nervous system right now is very sensitive. And if anything that I'm saying to you feels jarring, it's not for you. So respect yourself and your sovereignty and respect me enough to allow me to speak what is true for me at this point in time. So I'm literally just going to read what came through and I'm not um, putting any of my own input into it until maybe the end. So I'm just going to begin. This is a time to totally create your own world. There is a flurry of activity which is occurring on the 3D plane at the moment. And the energy is very fast. There's a lot of confusion. And this is intentional. It's part of the ascension timeline. It's part of the process of remembering how to be in the eye of the storm, which is always quiet, always still, always peaceful. A lot is coming up collectively as well in your own personal worlds and what we have been holding on to, everything that we've been holding on to that triggers us, responses of fear, trauma, self-doubt, limitation, these are all coming up right now on the earth plane. Those who act and choose to release will find this much easier than the past. The old adages, adages of digging and struggling and effort as a way of releasing, these are all dissolving now. The human attachment to struggle is coming up for release. If you've been working on yourself, you will be well aware of your past hurt and all the reasons to how these are all showing up for you now. We are in an energetic bridge, an energetic, it's, I'm gonna say exactly what came up. Um, you'll be well aware of your past hurt and all the reasons and how they are showing up in this bridge energetic space. That's exactly what came through, bridge energetic space. Um, you simply choose to release. You will encounter situations where previous PTSD triggers elicit old learned responses. Simple awareness of this and an emphatic declaration to be free of this is now enough in this time point to move forward. However, it is within and with active participation and changed behavior that these learned responses can be overcome. Become aware of the fears you hold and then breathe into your body to release the block. The breath is a very important tool in this moment of time for your physical vessel. Some may question how it can be this easy. We say it has always been so, but the density of all the programming of the matrix and the learned paradigms of karma, limitation, and lack were densely packed into the human earth consciousness. This is now shifting. There are many, there are many of you who over the past five years have felt an accelerated karmic release. For many of you, these lessons have been coming hard and fast. It is for this particular group of awakening and awakened souls that we speak. This karmic loop is now ending. Dare we say karma is ending. For many this will sound blasphemous, 
as it has been such a construct of your reality. For those that choose to hold on to this concept, you have the choice to do so. Others will easily release this holographic concept of karma in this time period. This is not to say it does not exist or it did not exist. We say those who want to now break free of this karmatic cycle have the opportunity to exit from three, this 3D concept of reality. You speak of laws of the universe, which are in quotation marks. Which universe are you choosing to participate in? This is a multiverse we are experiencing. Many of you are now awakening to this concept of multiverse and the idea that the and the old idea of universal laws are just that, they're ideas. You have the ability now to create from a new higher dimensional vantage point. You do not need to know how this works. Simply hold the intention, the reality that you desire to live in. Remain open as to how this shows up for you. The idea that we control and therefore feel safe is another human trauma response. Learn to get comfortable in the uncertainty. Many of you have already begun to see the magic unfold in the uncertainty. That your limited knowing and understanding of creation is just that. A speck in the vastness of the all. This is not a spiritual bypass. It is having humility in the vastness of possibilities that are open to you. This will be highlighted in the coming months. The events that are unfolding will confound many of you who purport to be able to predict outcomes. There is fluidity in the earth sphere in this time moment. Remain centered, remain grounded. Do not try to understand or make sense of all that is transpiring around you. Focus on your own inner reality, which you will see reflected in your outer experience. We do not say this message is for everyone. It is intended for those that have been seekers for many lifetimes. Those who have come to this earth plane experience to participate in shifting consciousness purely by existing in this time moment. You have all the tools. Drop the load you've been carrying. Your illusions of lack, limitation and struggle are ending no matter what appears in the physical realm. To change the external manifestations of your reality, choose your own potency from moment to moment. This potency is not dependent on what occurs around you. Choose to witness without getting embroiled in the drama. Focus on your own creations. Irrespective of the narrative you get fed around you, this is your peace in the eye of the storm. You are eternally loved. I am not going to bring any of my own perspective on this because this is purely what came through. I'm going to leave it at that and allow you to digest it in whatever way seems real and comfortable and alive for you in this moment.